these splits have matured. <laughs> Hello, Booker. Where have you been hiding her? I understand why Ryan wants to lock all of Fontaine's men up in that department store, but why on earth should we have to feed them? Isn't a prisoner just another parasite? What do you want to do, Irene? Hang them all? <laughs> you said it, not me. I don't think these supermen know the meaning of the word. visions before coming down here of utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's the problem with coming to utopia, is that it still has the people. Got an issue with my food pail. You're welcome to put on an apron. That's what the parasites want you to believe. Gray. There's no such thing as gray. There's good, there's bad. And nothing between the poles. Can anyone ever make me like Sander Cohen? Rapture's most beloved musical artist returns with why is How do they work? Something about your stem cells. What's a stem cell? Who do I look like, Bridget Tenenbaum? Ryan Tigger over Fontaine Futuristics, scene of the terrible violence. Splicers burning each other to bits. The lucky ones are not killed, sent to department to stop prison instead. Suchon think he dead man too. But then Ryan comes to Suchong and says, Suchong want to be buried in filthy store, or Suchong want to make a good salary, work for Ryan. How much salary, asks Su Jong. This Ryan find very funny. Even if we can't see it, it's there. Was it the Great Chain who took over Fontaine Futuristics? Sorry, lady. Ah, 
Mr. DeWitt, back again. And so soon. I was telling all this keep it down there, right? About the dispersions being made about me, huh? This legal nonsense, huh? About what Ryan warned us about is society of lawyers. Huh? Are you in the know? Innovation and competition are what fuel rapture. But that fuel can be diluted with rumor or flat out lies. The rumor monger asks, what are these so-called splicing side effects? Well, take a look around you. Do you see anything wrong with your neighbor? The rumor monger asks, why has Tenenbaum withdrawn from the public's eye? Dr. Tenenbaum is a scientific mind unparalleled, even in rapture. She's no doubt in her lab, toiling away at her next great innovation. I heard she was in cahoots with Fontaine. Merely slander from jealous naysayers. Remember, rapture competes through innovation, not cheap shots. Bridget Tenenbaum is a woman who represents the best of science and industry. In other words, She's a rupture gal. Now you know. How am I going to get work with my leg all busted up like this? Foreman says I should have been more careful. Something will turn up. Adversity breeds opportunity, that's what Ryan says. It's hard to have standards. Guten Tag, Herr Schmidt. Dr. Steinman told me he uses my picture to judge facial symmetry. <laughs> Darling, that line actually work on anyone before closing time. Sexual intimacy is no different than any other commodity, friend. You sell soybeans, I sell companionship. Ugh, it's disgusting. That's the Bible talking, pal. That's your mother talking. What does Ryan say? Petty morality? You can keep it. Come right in. You see that dish I walked in with? Well, you give her the star treatment, pal. Then I'll make it worth your while. Of course, right away. It's by Trené, but of course, covered by Mr. Reinhardt. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yes. Oh, music does something to me, especially something in this Yes. Way. It's almost primal, isn't it? Part of us that exists before thought, before logic, purely sensual. The finest music uh, touches us in places that we never knew existed yes can you turn it up oh it's so intoxicating but also but also powerful and masculine oh yes one, one feels the urge to surrender gotta find that box Thank you. 
nothing. Well, only one place left. I must go. I must go. Even one more note shall prove my undoing. One place left, though. And if that proves to be fruitless? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm not looking to be an obstacle to your accomplishments. I'm a modern fella. I just want to walk next to you and admire your stride. Darling, hmm. you do know how to talk to a woman. Frank Fontaine. <laughs> now, there was a straight shooter, one of us. I don't want to follow one of us. You imagine having a beer with Andrew Ryan? Probably some teetotaler. Don't trust a man, don't drink, least from time to time. Ryan understands something fundamental about mankind. We want to be better than we are. That is what separates us from the jungle. Signore. Days. Her little girl's been missing for days. I'm a complete wreck if Trudy even gets a nosebleed. So many children. It can't all be coincidence. observe strangest of coincidences. On other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chung's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! Death of intellectual property! <sighs> but man name of Fink is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property, two-way street. sake, Armand, you want to get us both rounded up? So you admitted that Ryan's rounding people up? It was a figure of speech. The pot calling the kettle black is a figure of speech. I keep my head low and I do my job. Like a good German. Now, is that a figure of speech? Are you in the know? You've doubtlessly sampled products from Fontaine Futuristics. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects, and his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But, a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. 
The Council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products, free of criminal taint. Now you know. I hope all of his crowd are enjoying themselves, locked up forever. Gotta hand it to the old man. Locking up Fontaine's thugs in his own department store. That's poetic justice. Good day. Hey, pal. You want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. Interesting, isn't it? An original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I'm sorry, but I know precious little about art. How does it make you feel? I don't want to open my mouth for fear of what foolishness might tumble out. <laughs> would you like me to tell you what it means? <gasps> oh, would you? Oh, I would like so much to understand. In this piece, Cohen intended to show us the struggle of the great man, condemned to breathe the swampy air of the parasite. <laughs> you see all that in that little picture? Oh, what's this one? Oh, please, it's so beautiful. What does it mean? Oh, my dear, that is something truly extraordinary. Shall I explain? Oh, yes, please. Tell me everything. You're, you're so knowledgeable. Why, you... You must be an artist yourself. <laughs> I dabble, uh, but I'm no Sander Cohen. Do you have anything of your own that you could show me? Well, yes. Right over here. So much to think about. I, I feel a trifle swoony. W would you mind if, if I return tomorrow for further education? I shall be here at your service. Until tomorrow. Oh Good. You've located the mask. Third time's a charm. All right. It's best we head back to Cohen's. Fine piece of work back with those shopkeeps. You've got a bit of the grifter in you. For that, you can thank my father. Oh, yeah? He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. Dimitri not asking for handout. Just a leg up. You'll forgive me if I can't see the difference. It's my leg, Arlen. So, what kind of field you in? Field? Yeah, you know, occupation. Can't imagine what kind of employment would lead you to tag along on a job like this. I suppose you could say I work in debt collection. Keep your hand on the chain, Frank. This better work. 
otherwise we'll certainly look the fools. Trust me. Ah, very well. Mr. Cohen awaits your participation at his performance. So who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. An artist who kidnaps children? Cohen's muse is a bit more diverse. I've seen his type. Gets an idea in his head, end a conversation. Don't matter who gets hurt. fashion to embarrass me in front of my muse my muse shall not be mocked Fitzpatrick please thus Fitzpatrick for God's sake <laughs> my muse shall not be mocked get them out of here there shall be no failure on my canvas <laughs> There's no room in rapture anymore for the artist. This one's a real biscuit. Isn't he a biscuit, ladies? I need to ask a few questions. Questions, yes. Yes. It is the work of man to ask. It is the work of the artist to answer. You've seen this girl, haven't you? We artists see more than most. You are more than you claim to be, little song. Are you not? Watch this one, DeWitt. She'll take you where you don't want to go. But I know the child in that photo is important to you. So many children flit, flit, flit away. I know where the girl is. And I will send you to her. In exchange, all I ask is a dance. What? I see something in you too. Art strips away artifice. Show me who you are, and I will show you where you need to go. Cole, you son of a bitch. Mr. DeWitt. What? Dance with me. Come, come, dance. I 
shudder to think what greater price he might care to extract. Fitzpatrick! Beauty and pain. They can be no more separated than birth and blood. What do you think Cohen's customers do with the children? Do they? Sometimes. But those types like the capital of people like Ryan and Suchon. That's a blessing. You saw those little sisters? You so sure? But if Su Chong had Sally, I'd know it. How? As I tied him to a chair and asked him. So? For 15 hours. I don't know what to make of you, Mr. DeWitt. No, 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 no! Listen, we're not gonna keep- Fitzpatrick! I see suffering in you. I know how to shine a light on your pain. A moth will become a butterfly. Mr. DeWitt! Are you alright? I'm fine. You were dreaming. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought... Pain and beauty! To an artist, they are parent and child. Cohen? I'm sending you to find your... young one. <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm not so sure you'll like what you find. Look. Fontaine's. Ryan sent the whole thing to the bottom. But it's a prison now. Why would Cohen have sent Sally there? I don't know. Everyone has needs. I merely provide a service for those who have the means to pay. You'll find your little bird in the housewares department. How many people do you suppose Ryan's got locked up in that place? Enough. Fontaine had amassed something near an army. Now they're down there, spliced up and wild. All right, there's a dock up ahead. Takes a cold son of a bitch to do that to a living person. What's that? Burial at sea. You read your residency contract with Ryan Industries? In perpetuity, we're all buried at sea. 